Answering the biggest question of the weekend, yes, the Patriots can win without Tom Brady. In his first career NFL start, Matt Castle committed no turnovers while completing 16 of 23 passes for 165 yards in a 19-10 win over the Jets. Sammy Morris ran for the only Pats touchdown as 2-0 New England ruined Brett Favre's home debut. It was New England's 21st straight regular season win, and Castle, backed by Bill Belichick's confidence, got them there. I'm really proud of the way they played. I know a lot of people didn't expect us to do much today, but... You know, these guys came in here with a lot of determination and uh, thought they played a good, solid game. Not perfect. There's still a lot of things we need to work on. In Minnesota, another quarterback under pressure to step up was Peyton Manning. Down 15 nothing to the Vikings, Manning engineered two touchdown drives and then set up Adam Vinatieri's game-winning 47-yard field goal with three seconds left. With the 18-15 win over the winless Vikes, the Colts avoid their first 0-2 start since 1998. They also avoid questions about being ready to win. And that proves just the experience that they have. Just when you thought that it seemed like this team has lost it, Peyton finds the old magic, and all of a sudden they're in a good position you know, going forward after two games. In Denver, another dramatic finish as North Turner's Chargers lose again in the final seconds. After Eddie Royal's 10-yard touchdown catch pulled the Broncos to within 38-37 with 29 seconds left, the Broncos risked it all by going for the two-point conversion. But Jay Cutler found Royal again for the winning score. Denver improves to 2-0, while the talented but stunned Chargers drop to 0-2. In Detroit, more success for Aaron Rodgers. The Packer quarterback threw for three touchdowns while completing 24 of 38 passes, leading Green Bay to a 48-25 win over the division rival Lions. The Packers are now 2-0, but better yet, the quarterback's strong play is helping the Aaron Rodgers era get off on the right foot. He definitely has given himself a bit of a cushion now for his own confidence, for the fans, for the media, or at least he has definitely proved that he can play at this level, and that will definitely make things easier for him going forward in many ways. And off to their best start since 1999, when they made it to the Super Bowl, are the Titans. Veteran quarterback Kerry Collins started for the injured Vince Young and guided the Titans to a 24-7 win at Cincinnati. If Collins continues to play effectively, will the Titans be facing a quarterback controversy when Young returns? They're one of those teams where you feel like the kind of quarterback who can manage a game, which Collins is, probably can be fairly successful with them. Now, how far could they go with him? You don't know. I mean, obviously, Young has certain talents that Collins doesn't. But, but there's a lot of other good things going on in this team that allows them to overcome adversity. The only other undefeated team in the AFC is the Bills, who won in Jacksonville. In the NFC, the Panthers, the surprising Cardinals, and the defending Super Bowl champion Giants are also 2-0. Finally, don't forget the Cowboys and Eagles. Both will vie to join the undefeated ranks when they square off in Irving, Texas, Monday night. With the NFL Week 2 wrap-up, Dave Ferry, The Associated Press.